Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. They're getting ready for whatever winter is, has to offer us uh, over the next five to seven days. So you should be too. Rock salt, all the snow melt products, also shovels, snow blowers, spreaders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And come the spring, by the way. Uh, Omni is your place to go to get your garden ready with topsoil, mulch, and so much more. And they are a local business, which these days is so important. 631-756-1125-1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. I'm just going to start this with the radar this morning, which is decidedly underwhelming. This is not a surprise. We had uh, a precip approach last night. Uh, it moved into southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland. Basically fell apart. It probably fell apart a little faster than modeled, but it did indeed fall apart as advertised. And now uh, we're waiting for the next uh, round to get underway later this morning and this afternoon. And you can already see precip uh, that is spreading in from the northwest across uh, north northern western Pennsylvania and on up into Michigan. That is going to slide southeastward, and we're going to see uh, echoes develop a little bit later this morning and into this afternoon. This is not going to be a big event, folks. Let's, let's be clear here. This is a coating to a couple of inches, and uh, pre precipitation type is going to vary from place to place. So when we look at, say, across much of Pennsylvania here on the, um, on the NAM model, uh, this is for 10 a.m. So we're going here for starting at 10 a.m. There is going to be the purple is sleet and freezing rain. Uh, the blue is light snow. And you see that covers a good portion of the state. So travel is going to be a bit tricky uh, in this zone. And then we start to see the snow develop across northern New Jersey. It's not really all that impressive. Uh, moves over Long Island and into Connecticut. You see some sleet, some freezing rain mixed in. This is all light stuff. And the atmosphere is borderline cold, which makes it even more problematic in terms of trying to figure out what comes out of all of this. I, I think the best approach remains for a coating to a couple of inches, and you know, there will be slick spots in most areas. Uh, I would say in New Jersey, if you draw a line around the turnpike, so go north and west of the turnpike. If you're in Pennsylvania, uh, it uh, eventually looks like it starts off for the whole state and even down into northern Maryland for a, for a short time today, and then it'll just warm up a, maybe a degree or two above freezing, and that'll be it. Uh, but the precip does look look light. I, I'd be concerned about maybe some glazing in some places. In the southern New England and the Hudson Valley, perhaps the snow will be a bit steadier, so the amounts might be a little bit higher. And you can see the uh, NAM has the darker blue, blue snow here about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then we'll move into the overnight as uh, the low redevelops well to our south and east. And that might pull down some of that moisture back southeastward during the overnight and early Wednesday morning. You see there's still stuff going on in uh, upstate New York and New England. It kind of brings it down to the coast, but never never seems to really get it, get it there. And then tomorrow we'll just spend the day with improvement. Uh, I'm going to switch over now to the uh, GFS model so we can take a look at what's going on uh, for the uh, rest of the week and for the longer term. So we've been, uh, we've been talking about this next storm. This is uh, developing in the southern stream. You see that low on the Tennessee-North Carolina border that moves eastward and uh, starts to strengthen a bit. Uh, that's going to be bring some snow to Kentucky, West Virginia, parts of Virginia into North Carolina, might even briefly snow hard for a few hours. And then the low intensifies rapidly as it moves to the east. For for us, there's no real consequence. Uh, there's no consequence from this storm other than the fact that it will be channeling down very cold air from eastern Canada uh, down into the eastern part of the United States, uh, beginning uh, later Thursday and certainly for Friday and Saturday. I'm anticipating temperatures that probably in many locations will have a tough time getting out of the 20s, uh, and uh, for, for at least for, for for Friday and Saturday, and uh, then. Uh, as that high settles in, here comes the next one uh, for uh, early uh, early next week. Now the G the Europe the um, I'm sorry the GFS is really rushing this system in here. 
Uh, it's got snow coming in uh, to uh, northeast Virginia, to southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey by uh, during Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then the low just sort of moves eastward and eventually just redevelops to our south and east. The uh, European is much slower than this. The European doesn't have anything here until sometime later Monday. So I'm still trying to resolve the timing issues with this as far as why there's a, such a rush to bring this next storm in. And I, that's going to be my project for today, and we'll report it, report on it. We will report on it later. Uh, this uh, upstorm has, this storm system has much more upper air support uh, than the one we're getting today. And it also seems to have a much more upper air support sooner than the storm system that's passing by to our south for tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Back to today's system. Here's my snow forecast uh, map, uh, a coating to an inch, uh, central Jersey, uh, Long Island, and uh, points northward. You get one to two inches, southern Connecticut, uh, northern New Jersey. The northwest corner could be in for two to three, two to three northeast PA, uh, two to three across uh, the lower Hudson Valley uh, into uh, Connecticut from west to east, northern Connecticut 3+, plus, uh, middle Hudson Valley 3+, plus. and as far as areas to the south and west of there, uh, as far as snow is concerned, I really don't see much happening here uh, with respect to snowfall amounts uh, from, say, Route 78 southward in Pennsylvania. This is all really going to be more about um, the uh, uh, ice that might occur, some some glazing uh, as the uh, ice forecast map uh, showing not very much. It's all under a tenth of an inch. But again, pay attention to this as we go through the day. Pay attention to your temperatures uh, as we uh, move through this uh, this Tuesday because they are going to be important. A degree or two could make uh, all the difference in the world, especially when it comes to getting uh, dealing with something uh, that is uh, like this, where you get light precip, you get some glazing on roadways. You don't really anticipate that. Then the next thing you know, you, you find yourself spinning around. Weather in five brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town on all your winter weather needs and as well as uh, spring, which will, when it gets here, you're going to need topsoil, mulch, and so much more. Uh, OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7.30 Eastern Time, so be ready for that. In the meantime, we'll have our usual array of website posts going up uh, as the day wears on. And uh, all the extra stuff, including weather in 10, uh, will be on my weather pack platform on Patreon, patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's my subscription site. It starts at 2 bucks a month. It's how I eat these days, folks. Uh, so um, I really appreciate those of you who have uh, joined up, and we do a lot of extra things there, extra videos. Uh, we do a weekly Zoom meeting uh, for members, uh, so th consider it if weather is your thing or maybe you need uh, some weather advice about stuff. Uh, just uh, let me know. All right, see you tonight.